Hi everyone, Mr. Gazda here, 645. We're going to be doing time math. Check this out. Sue arrived at 1224 and 45 seconds. Keith arrived 1226 and 35 seconds. What is the difference in the arrival times of Sue and Keith? So, time math. You need to set this up like this. Uh, the, the higher number goes on top, lower number on the bottom. And you kind of use a calculator uh, because a calculator is not going to help you, as you'll see. Watch this. 12, 26, 35. Make sure you line them up properly. Uh, 45. Okay. Now, the key thing with time math is these colons here that separate minutes from seconds, and this colon here separates hours from minutes. Okay. So you got to be careful of those. Uh, and you get to sort of treat the seconds separate from the minutes and the, that separate from the hours. So, look at it like this. 45 seconds. Can I take 45 seconds away from 35 seconds? You can't. Okay, so you need to borrow. And this is where uh, you would borrow here. So 26 becomes 25. Now, anytime you borrow across the, uh, across the colon... I often say, pretend it's like a warning sign, like, eh, eh, eh. be careful, because what you're borrowing is one minute, and too many people want to put a one here, but you're not borrowing 100 seconds, you're not turning 35 seconds into 135 seconds, you are borrowing one minute, which is 60 seconds, so you have to add 60 seconds to 35, so I would say cross this out. Add 60 seconds to it. Do it on the side if you need to. But 60 plus 35 is now 95. Okay? And now you should be able to take 45 away from 95. Now it's just regular math. 5 minus 5, 0. 9 minus 4 is 5. So it's 50 seconds. Bring down the colon. And then again, regular math. 5 minus 4 is 1. And that's 0. And that's 0. Now you could write it like that. Okay? That's your answer. Um because it'd be uh, no hours, one minute, 50 seconds. Or you could write it like this. Okay. But what, what you don't want to do is this. You don't want to write this. Because while you're trying to say one minute and 50 seconds, it looks like one hour and 50 seconds. So don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do it. Okay. Um, here we go. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. Okay, uh, what do we got here? So again, uh, Carolyn, Emily, take the highest number, put it on top. Is this the right pen though? That's the wrong pen. 50900 minus 50755. So you don't always need to borrow. If this number's high, you don't need to borrow. In this case, you do need to borrow again. So, because I can't take 55 seconds away from zero, so I'm borrowing here. That's going to turn into an eight. And I cross this out and add 60 to it. Now, it was just zero, so it just becomes 60. And then as long it's just regular math. Can I take, uh, I have to borrow here, and that becomes this. You know, that becomes 10, so that's five. And then five minus five is zero. Carry down the colon. Eight minus... Uh, 7 is 1, O, oh, and O. Oh. So you can write it like that, or 1 minute 5 seconds. Okay. Uh, Lou and Bobby. Okay. Bobby arrived later, so I put that at the top. 10 minutes, uh, 10 hours, 7 minutes, 15 seconds, and I take away 10, O, oh, 2, 30. I asked myself, can I take 30 away from 15, and I can't. Borrowing again. Again, you don't always need to borrow. It just so happens the first few of these require borrowing. So, uh, I then borrow here 6. Don't forget, I am borrowing 1 minute. Uh, 7 minutes becomes 6 minutes. I'm borrowing 1 minute, which is 60 seconds. Cross this out, add 60 to the 15. That will give you 75. And then you do 30 minus, uh, 30 from 75, 5 minus 0 is 5, 4, uh, sorry, 7 minus 3 is 4, that's going to be 45 seconds, 6 minus 2, 4, 0, 0, and you can write that, or um, you should write it like this, 4 minutes, 45 seconds. Again, don't do this, I will say again, don't do this, okay, because that looks like to us, we usually see that as 4 hours and 45 minutes, 
Okay. And Earthquake, S-Wave, Earthquake, P-Wave. That's where we're going with this, as you'll see shortly. Um, so, which... Oh, it says S. So this one here, the higher one, so I'm just going to write it just like that. Please rewrite it. I've had too many kids not do that, and they tend to get it wrong. Very rarely can you do these in your head. Okay? I have to borrow yet again, because I can't take 10 away from 0. So now... I'm going to kind of do right this. I'm not sure how you've learned to borrow um, from here, but this becomes uh, this becomes nine, right? And that becomes zero. You may do it that or extra steps. And again, I'm borrowing 60 seconds over here, adding them to that 60. And then 60 minus zero minus zero is that. That becomes five, nine minus four, six minutes 50 seconds okay and then uh, this one here Brent Nicole here we go three this is in higher one on top always do it it's actually written that way here so sometimes it is and sometimes it's not and look at this. Can I take 5 away from 10? Oh, look, I can. I don't need to borrow. See? I told you you don't always need to borrow. Um, now, so, I got, but I do have to borrow here. So, again, as long as I'm not going across the colon, it's just regular borrowing the way, the way you've always done it. And then maybe that goes like this, and that becomes 10. So that's 5, oh, and that's 3, oh, oh, oh. So that is 3 minutes five seconds alright so um, you will be doing a lot of that that's how you do it I'm Mr. Gazza thanks for watching 645